Good morning, Sheboygan, and welcome to the 2023 Fourth of July Parade. Alongside the coach, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin. Uh, Chris, this is about the fourth or fifth year we've been doing this parade. A couple more, you know, we'll be the uh, full Grand Masters. <laughs> I don't know about that, but now that they put us next to the judges, hopefully we're not judged as well. Yeah, you did tell them to watch your language, right? I did, I yeah, did. Good, good, good. What do you like about the 4th of July parade? I think I say it every year. I love the dogs. I love the fact, the fact that there's lots of people here. It's a great tradition in Sheboygan. Something like, like I said, I, it's just people in Sheboygan always come up for the parade, and this year is no exception. It's just packed up and down A Street that we can see here. And, you know, and I'm sure other places are like that, but it's, people get here at like 6 in the morning and put their blankets and their chairs out and get ready. and. And so hopefully the rain is going to stay away and we have a wonderful parade. I also like the 4th of July parade and what it stands for. And we've got some 4th of July facts that we'll share with the people during the course of the parade. Uh, the one thing I will miss, though, is we won't have the high school bands in, in the 4th of July. I did not know that. I don't think we do. Maybe we do. Yeah, we don't. Have, it seems like the bands... The judges are looking for us. <laughs> the bands have kind of like disappeared over the years. Back in, uh, in the old days, bands were quite popular. Now there's less and less... Now they just play their music out of the, out of their, uh, you know, you know like music that they get out of the radio yeah. or something. Uh, John Putnam and I did the Memorial Day Parade, and uh, it's got a different feel to it because of the meaning of the parade. But uh, both high schools were involved, and uh, it was really quite nice. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's something I like to see, too. But again, kids are busy in the summer, and somebody's got to organize it. And, but again, it's kind of sad if that's it. it's not the case. The last couple of years when we were together doing this parade, Chris, I would uh, quiz you on different things. And <laughs> you always got them right, so I did away with the quiz this year, and we're just going to read off some of the, the facts. facts and, uh, and why don't you like do that. number one for it, just to get us started. I can see they're coming down the road, but uh, we got time for one fact. Oh, the first fact? How about the Declaration of Independence was not really signed on July 4th. It was actually... Uh, the day, the day was formally adopted for the Congress, but it wasn't signed until August. Wow. Technically, the Declaration of Independence wasn't really July 4th, but it was July 4th. That's what we celebrate. Yep, that's what we celebrate. All right, they're coming down the road. Time for us to get to work. Our crew today, before we get too far into the parade, we have Scott Maloff as our director. He runs the show on camera. On top is Robert Ingram, the ground camera, is Greg Blocky, and uh, we already announced the announcers, Mike and Chris. Our first group is the banner. It's a welcome to the 2023 Independence Day Parade. We're uh, actually, I think I might have mentioned this, Chris, we're sitting at the judges' table, and uh, we had petitioned for this. You knew that, didn't you? Oh. Well, we did, because we wanted to get more money. <laughs> <laughs> and right behind there is, uh, you probably hear it in the background, is a, a bagpipe. Joe Summers has been playing the pipe since he was nine years old. In three different pipe bands through his career, numerous solo and band competitions. We really enjoy the thrill of the bagpipe. So that is oh following our banner. In the uh, Memorial Day Parade, uh, Dusty Pickett was, one, was in the uh, color guard for uh, the Sheboygan Police Department. We'll have to see if he's involved in this also. Police Department would like to wish everyone a safe and happy holiday. Be careful with those fireworks, and uh, here we have the uh, Police Department Honor Guard. And then we have, uh, coming up here, we have some of the uh, officials, but uh, the Boyden County Sheriff Coley, Corey Rossler is walking for the cadets. There you see the sheriff right there. 
Next we have Sheboygan County elected officials participating in today's parade include Laura Henning Lawrence, Sheboygan County Treasurer Ellen Schicker, Register of Deeds Christine Kinkin, and Clerk of Circuit Court Corey Ressler. You mentioned the sheriff, right? Yep. I don't think it'll be quite as political. Department, which was originally founded in 1888, only had 75 members. Operates in five locations strategically placed throughout our state. The department operates three engine companies, one rental company, a ladder company, three paramedics. There's Kurt Miller right there, one of my former baseball players. Umpire behind you. Now, the department is overseen by a chief, two assistant chiefs, a division chief. Request here in Sheboygan. And here are some of those fine firefighters. So I bump right behind and a ball gets through his legs, hits me right in the guard, bumps right out in front of him. He picks it up, throws the runner out the second base. So he gets set to continue play. You think he'd say anything? No. See, what I did, I stopped the game, went out in front of home plate, swept it off, looked at my smart to say thank you. He said thank you. USA Incorporated has been named the fourth best bank in 2023. The judges are literally already, Chris. Look at they've got they were given this little flyer and they let it fly out on the screen. get it, but I'm mic'd up. Don't worry, we'll look your candy with you if we get it. <laughs> On the way down the line is the Sheboygan High School uh, drum line. Which, was, which high school? North High. Oh, okay. uh, North High. The students write or select all of their music, design their routine, and teach the music to the entire drum line. They travel throughout our state, performing for a variety of schools, gatherings, community events, and other organizations. That is impressive. And it's something that, you know, through the years, people like being in the drum line. That is like an in thing to be, to be in the drum line. And they have tryouts and everything. Oh, I bet. What's interesting, I know it's, you know, it's mostly run by the students, but I wonder if they do have a, a, a teacher advisor. Oh yeah, they do, they do.
by the City of Sheboygan Common Council and a delegation from our sister city, Esslingen in Germany. As they come together, on July 4th, we express our gratitude to all those who tirelessly safeguard our nation, defend our freedom, and contribute to their communities. We deeply appreciate the dedication of our armed services, military families, veterans, and all the residents who make the City of Sheboygan and our country extraordinary. We extend our thanks to those who are away from their loved ones on this holiday, serving overseas. Their sacrifice is particularly special. We extend for the July and a safe remainder of the summer. Chris, I thought you were going to take all the long readers. <laughs> well, this is also making trouble. Every once in a while on Fridays over at Paradigm, getting his coffee before he went to work. Everybody, happy fourth! There's the Common Council right behind. Yeah, they do a great job. Okay. 
your city representatives at work, Chris. Sheboygan in 1965. The money we make from the parade, we do support. The money we make from the parades, we do support the Shriners Hospitals for Children. Especially chemical company coming through here. Yep. the trolley all summer long for just one dollar take a ride to three sheep go to a, go on a date for ice cream or take the family to upward garden the possibilities are endless on board the trolley shoreline metro also offers daily public transit within sheboygan and to sheboygan falls and kohler climb aboard shorelinemetro.com to discover more and right behind there, as I mentioned at the beginning, my favorite part of the show is seeing the dogs. All right. Dog Training Club has been in existence since 1950. The focus on teaching owners to have dogs that they can enjoy. With two heated training buildings and two outdoor fenced-in areas, the Sheboygan Dog Training Club is a year-round training club owned and operated by its members. Mixed breed or pure breed doesn't matter. Sheboygan Dog Training Club is here for you. How appropriate was that? I mean, you mentioned that about liking the dogs in the opening, and then you get the dog. I didn't know. Play. I just. <laughs> I know you always start, so you get one, and then I get two. We alternate here uh, for our show. There are going to be some awful tired dogs, though, by the yeah, time they're right. done. Look at this one here. Wow. Punky pets. Thank you for voting Punky Pets, best pet grooming in Sheboygan County. Punky Pets offers one-on-one -on -one gentle handling grooming using only the finest salon quality products. Be sure to check out our retail boutique at 819 New York Avenue in downtown Sheboygan. Here comes the Hmong Mutual Assistance Association. The clothing indicates a different group of Hmong people living in our community. Clothing styles go from traditional to contemporary. This is a collaboration of the Hmong community and the John Michael Solar Art Center. We invite everyone to join us on July 15th and 16th, featuring the Hmong Sheboygan Summer Festival and the 53rd Summer Festival of the Arts. Large part of our community, Chris, and uh, yep. they do a great job. Yep.
next we have the John Michael Kohler Art Center celebrating kinship and collaboration. The Art Center's Culinary Art Car and the Sheboygan Lung Mutual Association invite everyone to mark their calendars for the weekend of July 15 and 16 featuring the 2023 Mung Sheboygan Summer Festival and the 53rd Midsummer Festival of the Arts. We have Myers Grocery Store, this 1936 stock truck you see here is an antique replica used by the original uh, Meyer to transport their groceries in their first store in Greenville, Michigan. Meyer's in Grand Rapids, Michigan, Maine. Realtor has more than 500 stores. Next we have the Q Municipal Band. Members range in age from 14 to 80. They've been over 65 years of service and many others have been with us for over 30 years. All of our members are volunteers and represent a wide variety of occupations. Join us at the Kohler Ravine Park for our annual 4th of July Sutsa concert. Like I mentioned in the beginning, Marty, they're just the band, but the Peel Band seems to be here yeah. every year yet. Right, they're a regular. Does the drumline count as a band? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what is the, uh, what's the, yeah, I don't know. More of that. Discovery Coach Trolley, all aboard. We're on our Discovery Coach Trolley, our 28th Trolley, our ideal for weddings, corporate events, local events, and more. Beyond the wheel today is the school bus driver, Jason Bittner. We know Jason Bittner. Up there. How you doing? Great. The co-pilot is David Prey, just walked by. Navigating is everyone's uh, sweetheart, Sherilyn Bittner. I think she's in the back. Phil Bittner, retired Discovery Coach, Bean Counter, and everything. Welcome that group, Discovery Coach. Locally owned pet store associated with her families and friends is Pet Supplies Plus. Here's She Bike and Pedal Tours, 15 pedal uh, power Quite, quite ricicle, say that five times quick. We're throwing and showcasing our beautiful community. Offers a wide variety of connecting friends, playing games, and winning prizes on she bike. Next, we have Tim and Perone Trucking Company, hauls refrigerated food from the Midwest. Drivers come up every weekend. We, they love to promote Sheboygan with cool, flashy, visit Sheboygan trailer wraps. Look at that. That is pretty cool. It's a big bus. That's a big, big, big truck. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. It looks like Greg is actually wearing the uh, surfboard. <laughs> he can't hear us. <laughs> Our members will be walking in the parade. Uh, this is the uh, town of Sheboygan part, Volunteer Department. Alongside their honor guard, we have three fire department apprentices in the parade, including our 1952 chief vehicle. Wow, that's pretty awesome. One different group for this year, Marty. Wow. And this is number 24 of our 91. So 
we're almost a little over a quarter of the way through. That's a lot of groups. Next we have the Republican Party of Sheboygan County. Guiding principles, we are one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boy, she's pretty peppy. <laughs> without giving us any candy. <laughs> hey, there's your dog again, Chris. Lots of dogs. U.S. Coast Guard Artillery is an off is the uniformed all-volunteer component of the United States Coast Guard. The auxiliary was created by an act of Congress in 1939 and has grown to over 32,000 members who daily support the Coast Guard all its non-military, non-law enforcement missions. Auxiliary missions, uh, okay, where am I here? Enforcement. Auxiliary members conduct safety patrols on local waterways, assist in search and rescue, teach boating safety, Classes conduct free vessel safety checks for the public and provide boating safety literature to dealers as well as other activities related to recreational boating safety. Next we have Great Lakes Cheese. Great Lakes Cheese was founded in 1958 by Hans Eprich, a Swiss immigrant. Today, Great Lakes Cheese has a nine plant operation spanning six states supplying cheese coast to coast. GLC privately owned by the Eprick family and has over 4,000 dedicated employees. GLC is a, the number one cheese packaging company in the nation. And we got our cheese. <laughs> I'll tell you, there's a lot of energy in this parade here. There is, you're right. comes the Sheboygan County Can-Am Riders. This is a Sheboygan County Riders group which started in 2000, there's, excuse me, 2020. There's 54 members who share the love for these three-wheeled motorcycles. Any age is welcome. Find us on Facebook. We get together for ice cream rides, cruise in the countryside, and benefit rides. Here's some of those three-wheeled vehicles. on your agenda, get one of those bikes? Uh, no. They're great in summer, but they're not too functional in winter. Right. I get the international autos, Chris. Yep. International Autos, Automotive Sales and Service. <laughs> In the cheap seats, how about the end of the table? <laughs> John Adams believed that American independence should be celebrated on July 2nd, as that's the actual day 
the Continental Congress voted for independence in 1776. Yeah, but July 4th has a better ring. Uh, it does, obviously, it does. Annoyed that Independence Day wasn't celebrated on July 2nd, Adams reportedly turned down invitations to July 4th celebrations throughout his life. And then he died that day. Yeah. That'll learn him. <laughs> Here comes International Autos. I'll read it again. International Autos, Automotive Sales and Service. be the Church of Christ coming, we'll be hosting a vacation Bible study at Cleveland Park, ages 3 to 12 from 9 to 2. The vehicle we are driving is a Korean War vintage M38 Willie. All righty. You don't see those very often. You know what? I was driving down the tennis the other day, and I drove right by one. Really? They were going west on Gilly, and I was, of course, going east. That is, that's an impressive vehicle. Usually you only see those in movies. Yep. Right. Whoever's at the starting line has done a great job of getting the groups in order. Yep, and we're now uh, on the white. White division starting. We just finished red, we're now starting white. American Legion Post 83. The color guard is represented today by American Legion Post 83. Gelling Group and Siding is family owned and operated business, specialized in interior renovation. Gelling Group is locally local and this year hosts the Spider Man and the Flash on their float. Gelling's your friendly neighborhood roofer back in a black. Hey, Chris, I want to jump back to that Legion Post 83. You know what they should have had in their description about sponsoring the Legion team for all those years? Yeah, yeah. Horizons for Girls. Horizon for Girls has a year-long campaign to stop bullying. Freedom from bullying. Horizon for Girls mentors middle and high school female students. Horizons for Girls ignites a spark for those young women. Study skills, life skills, and career exploration. It's an important service, Chris. 
Up next is the Sheboygan Falls Varsity Dance Team. They're currently the reigning 2023 Division III Hip Hop State Champs. This is their third state championship title in the last four years. Congratulations to the Purple Bird Ladies. The Falcon Green. Yeah. Sheboygan Youth Sailing. Sheboygan Youth Sailing wishes everyone a happy Independence Day and safe boating. Another big contingent for that uh, group too, Chris. Yes, they are. Now we're pretty much at the beginning of the parade. You know, these guys get to listen to that hip hop music all the way through. Mr. Yeah, I wonder what they're going to be doing when they get to uh, to the Peace Park down by the lake. <laughs> they're still going to be dancing. Sheboygan JC is celebrating for you today. This group has served the community for 99 years and brought you great entertainment like the Dominion of Terror, Brat Days, and the Holiday Parade. Did you ever go to that Dominion of Terror? I, I know, I'm too scared. <laughs> Me either. But I do go to the Holiday Parade. <laughs> so. Coming right along here, we have the uh, JC guy walking away. Well, we got the C's right here. C's, S E A S. C's Sailing Education Association of Sheboygan wishes everyone a happy Independence Day. Another good organization for kids. Yes. Well, you mention that all the time. Here's another one. The Sheboygan Lakers are coming up next. Sheboygan Lakers figure skating was formed in 2008 by a group of skaters and parents who wanted to promote figure skating to youth adults in Sheboygan County. We offer skating lessons, theater night, and synchronized skating. And you, you mentioned there's so many activities in Sheboygan for youth to do. Yeah. yeah. I know you mentioned that in years past, too. You come here and you don't realize it. There are all these opportunities. Kids should not be bored. It's important to get your kids involved, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> bribery. Bribery at the judges' table. <laughs> but uh, Chris, you make a great point. You know, there's so much for kids to do. And, you know, get your children involved and uh, get them off the streets. Next we have Tawana Wilson Fire Department and First Responders. I think they were making noise before, I bet by the time they get in front of us. Oh, did I call it or what? They made yeah. some more noise. They really keep their equipment sparkling. They really keep their equipment sparkling. As I look down this uh, judging table, I think uh, by the end of the parade they'll be able to feed the world. <laughs> Yeah. 
Massachusetts became the first state to make the 4th of July an official state holiday in, in 1781, Chris. That's a long time ago. Ball is Hoop is a dedicated nonprofit basketball organization located right here in Sheboygan. We offer mentoring and athletic development for all ages. Affordable activities with diverse levels of youth training, open gyms, and basketball teams. <laughs> More basketball. Another opportunity for kids? Yep. This one is not an opportunity for kids. Ballhorn Chapel. As servers of the community, it is so important to give back. All proceeds to our brat fry at our 8th Street location goes to Sharon S. Richardson Community Hospice. Being there for one another is so very important in today's world. Oh, excuse me, Central Bark. Central Bark, I'm familiar with this place. Another dog one for... for hey, Chris, for, they have nothing for, written for their description. You're no. filling in quite well. Yeah. More dogs. More dogs. We can't have enough dogs. South 23rd Street. I'm familiar where this is, right off of Washington Avenue. So don't, don't pass it. Answer the question. What's your favorite dog breed? I don't know. Dogs that come to my house and then go and leave. <laughs> I love dogs. You know, my favorite dog is with. the ones that are trained. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here goes Molly's Cobbler Shop. Molly's Cobbler Shop, located on Michigan Avenue, is one of Sheboygan's oldest shoe and leather repair shops. Founded in 1912, Molly is pulling a 4th of July themed cart display and oversized head of a crabby cobbler himself. And here comes the gaming generation. They are a group of gamers and friends who just love to put smiles on kids' faces. Many varieties of dress up people, and it sounds like Pac Man in the. <laughs> Sheboygan Area First Robotics Alliance. The Sheboygan Area First Robotics Alliance is an association of the two first robotics teams in the Sheboygan area. Ro Robo Riot Team 3418 is based at Sheboygan Falls High School. Red Raider Robotics Team 6381 is based at Sheboygan North High School. The Alliance works together to ensure harmonious cooperation between each team and aims to create a sense of unity between the team, sponsors, and the community as a whole while promoting STEM education at the high school level. SAFRA provides support for FIRST LEGO League and FIRST Tech Challenge Team. Whoa, this robot here is firing the candy at you. How about that? We need more kids involved. All about that. That's impressive. I'll poke your eye out. I thought when it said Red Raider, it mentioned something about South, because I'm sure South is probably involved in Oh, that. yeah, you can see North, yeah. South, E2, Warner, and Lutheran are all part Good. of the group. Good. Very nice. Nice. I knew a couple of hey, those kids. kids. Chris, another opportunity for kids. Yes. Rogers Behavioral Health is proud to be a member of the Sheboygan community. We recently celebrated our second anniversary. It's our mission to provide healthy, effective and mental health and a 
addiction treatment for, for all people. We want the people to reach their full potential for health and well-being. Rogers Behavioral Health. You know what our problem is? The monitor gets in the way. <laughs> <coughs> Next, we have Sheboygan State Representatives Evan Lemahieu, Terry Katzma, and Amy Binsfield. Senator Devin Lemahieu is in his third term representing the 9th District. Devin's colleagues elected him to be the Senate Majority Leader. Representative Terry Katzma is in his fifth term representing the 26th District. Terry is the Assembly Vice Chair of the Joint Finance Committee. Representative Amy Binsfield is in her first term representing the 27th District. Amy is appointed as Vice Chair of the Family Law Committee. <laughs> oh, here's a good one for you, Chris. All right. Next up is the Sheboygan North Cheer and Sun team, which consists of 40 athletes from Sheboygan North High. Right behind, and right behind them, we have the Junior Raiders cheerleading program. It is a youth cheerleading program sponsored and run by Sheboygan North Cheer and Stunt Team. The team is for athletes grade K through 8. Children's Outreach Event, Wise Them Up, July 17th to 20, from 6.15 to 8.30 at their new facility. The event is open to children going into first to sixth grade for the upcoming school year. Sign up on the Crossroads website, www.crossroadsheboygan.org. Walk-ups are always welcome. Come rain or shine to Crossroads Community Church, which means Sunday at 4321 County Road A, 9 o'clock and 10.45 a.m. A lot of people in the crossroads. Look out, we're going to lose a ball. Thank you. It's gone. Thank you. Picked up. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. We got it back. Life is right with the world. We got that ball back. Or you're on TV. <laughs> that she didn't realize she was here. That's great. Oh, there's a lot of crossroads. There is. Very well represented. Again, very energetic parade this year, Mark. That's nice to see. It is. And that's what your life for should be about. I mean, it's a celebration. 
Dunk a Shane. There's the uh, there's your morning supply of uh, food 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 advertisement for Wise Up. Crooked. But that's okay. Uh oh, candy down, candy down. He's a judge. Yeah, I know. Part of the table's not holding up there. Mercury Racing Midwest Challenge. Join Mercury Racing in Sheboygan for the inaugural Midwest Challenge Power Boat Race Weekend. Speed seekers, water enthusiasts, and families looking for fun will enjoy the Power Boat Racing Weekend on the shores of beautiful Lake Michigan. This iconic event brings two Power Boat Racing Series together on the same weekend in the same location for the first time ever. Nice. Read flawlessly by Mr. Martin. Very nice. Another good event for Sh Sh Sheboygan. We're getting close to the end of this white division. This is the uh, Sheboygan County Cycling Mission to promote all for the cycling for all people who live and work in our community. That was out of order. This is Risen Hope Community Church. Grateful to God for the freedom to worship is the message that members of Risen Hope Community Church joyfully share on this 4th of July. Along with music, exalting the God of hope and sharing the hope of God. We'll mix up in the order based on our information. League of Women Voters of Sheboygan County reminds everyone to participate in their democracy and vote. Visit www.411vote.org. That's www.411vote.org to learn how to register to vote and learn about the candidates in their own words. Voting, Chris, very important for all our uh, eligible voters to get out there and vote. Make your voices heard. That's your opportunity. Ooh, we got one in out of order, maybe. Oh no, Motorhead Auto Detailing. Ooh, this is important for you. You got an old car, right? <laughs> <laughs> Your local auto care professional. I specialize in paint correction, ceramic coating, interior detailing, window tint, and more. They are educated, experienced, and focused on creating an enjoyable client experience. Now you get the VWs. No, oh, maybe not. This is all their detailing work in action. Yep. I like this Challenger. The VW Club of Sheboygan, a long history of Sheboygan original club, which began back in the 60s. The, the current club began back in 2001. Fourth of July Parade is a favorite of the club. We've been part of it for the last 20 years. The vehicles are dec decorated to honor our flag, our country, and everything that believes nationalities, beliefs, and faith. God bless the USA. And again, a trademark of our parade, Marty, is seeing the, the old Volkswagen. I never owned a VW, but I mean, they were... They were very popular. I was just going to say that, yeah. Remember that, back in the day. Well, they especially came out when, uh, in the 70s when the gas was at a high price. And VWs were sold quite From a bit. What I remember, they're very dependable also. This yellow is a little more modern. Yes. And another dog. That's a hippie one right there. Next we have Van Horn Automotive. Since 1966, Van Horn Automotive Group has remained Sheboygan's premier family-owned and operated auto group. Today, we have 18 locations throughout Wisconsin and Iowa, carrying several of the leading automotive brands, including Kia, Chevrolet, Ford, Mazda, Hyundai, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Nissan, Volkswagen, and Honda. We proudly sell all new used and certified pre-owned vehicles for every budget and style. Uh, 
representation in the parade also. Next we have VFW Post 9156, Veterans of Foreign Wars, open to the public from 2 until 10, Tuesday Sunday, serving food Tuesdays through Fridays from 4 to 8, closed on Mondays, fish fry on Friday. you weren't going to make it to the parade. <laughs> Here comes the DFW Post 91. I did that, that one. Oh, excuse me, that was this one. Sorry, Marty. Oh, the Marine Corps. Yep. The Marine Corps is coming up next. Let the uh, DFW go through here. Jima Memorial that, that you see here is the Memorial Corp National Monument in Arlington, Virginia. Its members, it remembers and honors all who served in the Marine Corps. After raising the flag at Iwo Jima back in 1945, it was said that the Marines' commitment in this battle was that uncommon valor was a common virtue. Next we have the Black American Community Outreach. Black American Community Outreach is an organization designed to bring awareness, resources, and equitable access to the community members residing in Sheboygan County. Ooh, here's a good one, Chris. Get to do mine, Chris. I did read the wrong one. Shore West. No, I'm on. It's good. That's why I was gonna give you Shore. Go ahead. You go with the next. All right. Happy Independence Day from Shore West Realtors. This is an important one, theater for young audiences. Theater for young audiences provides youth and adults the opportunity to explore the theater arts in an immersive and educational commitment and environment. We strive to produce high quality family productions that align with our mission to educate children about themselves and the world around them through theater. Sorry about that, Chris, I can't count. That's okay.
I, I was in the, the play in high school, Chris. Bye bye, Bertie. Really? Yeah, my big scene was carrying Conrad Bertie off the stage. <laughs> Theater for a young audience. Frostbite was established in 2022. The company is family owned and operated. We thought creating an ice cream business that would be fun and educational. Our children helped selling ice cream, stocking, and managing money and good personal skills. Frostbite. Radical man. See Robin? Yep. What's the uh, Leslie? Leslie. Bethlehem Lutheran Church and School. Bethlehem is one of Sheboygan's oldest Lutheran art congregations with a membership of over 1,200 members. Our school is thriving with enrollment in grades K through 8 with over 150 students. Education for today. Education for eternity. We're in that blue division now, Chris. Yeah. We've been here for a while. Very. Thank you. Dare to Dream Theater is a process based theater company. Rooted in education, dedicated to bringing joy to children and helping them find and share their voices with the world. Participants of all ages are distributing stickers and season flyers for Dare to Dream Theater. Then, right, judges? <laughs> hey, here's a good one. Kimmer's Clowns. In parentheses, Jaeger's Clowns started in 1958 with the 4th of July parade. Oldest clown retired at 88 years, Jaeger Clowns. Ooh, here's a one for you, Chris. Up next, we have Sheboygan's very own hometown radio station, WHBL 1330 and 101.5 News Talk Sports, WXCR 104.5 and 96.1 The Point, WHBSBZ 106.5 The Buzz, and finally, WBFM Sheboygan Country B93. On one of those channels, in the morning, you can listen to Tim Moyer, see there's a little Sheboygan A's report. Bit of country. B93. Very popular radio station here in the county. President Zachary Taylor died in 1850 after eating spoiled fruit at a 4th of July celebration. Celebrate that, Chris. Yep. Boygan County's Ferris to the Fair. Well, let's welcome the 2023 of Sheboygan Falls High School and graduated from UWGB with a degree in music. Jill loves singing at the Plymouth Races and Sheboygan A's games. She's also as passionate about baking, acting, and theater, musical theater. At Ferris, Jill hopes to see you this Labor Day weekend for the best five days of summer at the Sheboygan County Fair. Welcome, Jill. Great toy collectibles, the family business owned. For your busy in your youth, they have toys, comic books, collectibles, video games, and more. Great toy collectibles. I think they have Stratomatic Baseball. It is a football. 
Thank you. You're welcome, sir. You guys get first in there? Thank you. Thank you. Next up, we have Meyer Motors. Meyer Motors Incorporated is a third generation family owned and operated GM dealership. We love our community and do our best to provide quality product, professional service, and fair, upfront pricing. Ooh, this should be a big, uh, big representation from this next group, Chris. Make up something. That's too short. <laughs> nice float by the Pentecostals. Your hat too. Is that a shark hat? Yeah, Ooh, this is a good. Read this one, Chris. This is good. If you haven't been there, go there. What is? A Rosto delicatessen, a homage to the Statue of Liberty and New York, the symbol of immigration and liberation for our great nation. Inspiring the ideals of peace, human rights, democracy, and opportunity. Excellent sandwiches. Where is that? Right, right by Johnson's Bakery. Oh. Speaking of New York, did you know the Macy's fireworks show in New York cost more than $6 million and 75,000 fireworks? If not, you know now. You know what's taking over the fireworks industry? The little uh, drones, oh. drone displays. Oh. That's kind of a big thing. Here comes the Ooh. South High Varsity Dance Team. All right. They're awesome. They hold seven state championships and are are dancing to Dos Fight, Chiara, choreographed by head coach Lily. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. They some dancing. Good job, kids. Next, we have Sheboygan County Democratic Party. The Sheboygan County Democratic Party celebrating truth, justice, and the and American values. Loves to march in the 4th of July parade. We are patriotic, progressive, and proud of our service to the community. Uh, candy. 
is for you, Chris. This next one. Upcoming now, we have the Sheboygan Fencing Club. Members range from the ages of 5 to 100. We teach all that the classes and levels of things. Keep your mask on. <laughs> We're seeing a competition right here on There you go. Never did any fencing, Chris. Your opportunity, Chris. <laughs> Kunis RV. Kunis RV with two local dealerships, one in Cleveland and the other in South Sheboygan. Nathan's famous hot dog eating contest is held annually. On July 4th, in 2018, champion Joey Chestnut ate 74 hot dogs with buns in just 10 minutes. Has that been broken, do you know? He's up for it this morning, I know. He's competing again. I thought, that, I thought the record was 75. I can catch it. I can catch it. There's a nice Oh. Throwing frisbees. Now you remember you guys can throw them back. We need that Pentecostal back so we can see if you can pop balloons with those frisbees. Kunis yeah, RV well, coming by us right now. Okay, Chris, here's a quiz for you. In case you don't know the answer, it's number 10. <laughs> Independence Day became a federal holiday in what year? In the back row? What year? Give me a guess. What year did it become a federal holiday? Fourth of July. Uh, wrong answer. 1870. Chris had that, but he had the answer in front of him. That's when it became a holiday. Yeah. We like to get everybody involved here at the table. These are some big rigs. Yeah. RVing and camping became very popular after the co during the COVID time, Marty, because people could just get away right, yeah. into the camper and still get habitation. Campus life in Shab Campus life is a Christian faith-based, non-dimensional youth and family ministry for more than 50 years. We've been helping people in need within Sheboygan County. Although the times have changed, the goal of campus life remains unchanged. To help people develop physically, socially, intellectually, and spiritually. The nonprofit outreach seeks to help people move one step closer to Jesus. And we're winding down to our last hat. Holy cow. More dogs. Yeah, more dogs. Can't have enough dogs. According to Chris. Thank you. Well, this campus life has a lot of people too, Chris. They extend all the way down the street. Oh, look at that doggy. Oh, yeah. Come up on the Oh, he's right up in the front row. <laughs> a little puppy. Nine months. Nine oh. months. Holy Christ. Hey, Caitlin at the A's game had a before and after picture. She, she trains dogs for service animals and was just a little one like this a year later. Oh man, was this thing big. Holy Christ. If you want to see the picture, it's on, I think, the A's Facebook page. Next we have the tractor enthusiasts. We are a group of Sheboygan County friends and patriots that love tractors and their country. Speaking of the A's, tomorrow.
tomorrow night. Come out to yeah. the eighth game. We'll be there. Yep. Sheboygan Old Timers County Old Timers Baseball oh. Association. Technically Sheboygan County Baseball Association. Yeah. Aren't you kind of a big wheel in that group? Not. No. Nope, yeah, 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 yeah. Just don't be so bashful, President. You. Yeah, they get. Come out tomorrow. The Sheboygan A's. If you want, come and get some uh, brats and burgers. Yeah, Red Wing Shoes of Sheboygan, local business owned by John and Kelly Church, open location in Sheboygan back in 2016. Red Wing Shoes is an American company since 1905 with four manufacturing plants here in the USA. Good friend of mine, a 68 graduate, Bob Emig works at uh, Red Wing Shoes. He used to be in the uh, clothes business with Emig's oh, yeah. clothing. Yeah. Sheboygan Discount Warehouse, we are the Sheboygan Discount Warehouse. Our mission is to provide great value to the community and lessen the environmental impact from overstock and returned items. And every trip is an adventure. Alright, I gotta start working. Last page of our uh, listing here, Chris. Hey, sweetheart, thank you. Hey, that'd be something for Lindsay. Yeah, there, there you go. Lighthouse Recovery Community Center. This sculpture represents the logo of Lighthouse Recovery Community Outreach, providing light to hope through the darkness of addiction. Another great service provided to the community. Very important. Chris, I don't know if we can read number 11 because it's a family-oriented show we run here, but uh, as, of July, as of 2016, July 4th, was the number one holiday for beer sales in the United States, according to the National Beer Wholesalers Association. Trilling Hardware. Trilling Hardware is the oldest full-service hardware store in the state of Wisconsin. It's been serving Sheboygan County for over 173 years. Trilling Hardware. They provide great service, by the way. Wow, these are big flies. Just All right, Palm Tree Service provides expert tree removal in Sheboygan and surrounding counties. Our fully licensed insurance professionals have the right tire removing equipment experience now to safely and effectively handle any of your tree problems. And then we have Farms pa Landscape Management Incorporated. Farms Landscape Management Incorporated is <laughs> <laughs> alternative to lawn fertilization and weed control. We also have a full hardscape and landscape division which can take care of your outdoor property needs. Farms. <coughs> That's loud. Very loud. It's got a smile. <laughs> All right, here we go. Custom Craft Roofing in Ootsburg provides residential, commercial roofing, and siding and gutter installation. We have in-house crews that are highly skilled. We are family-owned, provide services that are trustworthy, excellent, and built on team pur purpose. Custom Craft Roofing or Whoa, roofing. we're getting blasted. <laughs> All angles. Throwing candy at us. Keep your safety glasses on. <laughs> Next 
on our list is Nito Shoe Shows. Nito Shows is a nonprofit group focused on providing all ages music shows in safe venues. Our mission is to provide safe, drug and alcohol free environment for all ages, but also to perform if they are in a band. With them is Martin Concrete. You can hear his experience to a local family owned business dedicated to providing affordable, high quality concrete services to contractors, builders, homeowners in Sheboygan and the surrounding areas. Here's the detour shows. Thank the crew for their work today. We had Scott Mailoff, our director, Greg Zablocki behind that camera, Robert Ingram on the top camera. That's Chris. I'm Mike. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great and safe 4th of July.